Now today we're going to be playing something a little bit different. Usually I'm obviously playing higher tier and I will have an E3 video tomorrow. So if you are interested in higher tier, then of course there'll be an E3 video. But today we're going to be playing the Super Hellcat. Now this is a tank that I actually hadn't played before. And I did make a video on this, vi on this tank and then I realized that the mic settings were completely wrong and I just didn't even bother to make it. So today we're going to be playing in the Super Hellcat. Um, if you would like to see what stats I got, then these are the stats. We played three games, as I usually do. 1.6k uh, average damage and 300 assistance. We are going to be running with Optics, Rammer and IAU, or Improved Aiming. Um, we do have a decent crew because obviously it is from the E3, uh, besides the radio operator, which we just stuck a random crew member that I had lying around in the barracks. Ammo loadout, something like this, um, 16.10.4. And of course we're using consumables because we are dirty, dirty pay to win players. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so we are on Westfield and I mean, this isn't actually too bad, all things considered. Um, we are going to go to try and help out any light tanks that are going to spot over on the uh, this side of the map, over in the east. So let's see what we can do. Now the thing is I really don't want to get spotted early. But I also want to get into a decent position where we can actually shoot people. As you can see, the aim time isn't actually that bad. Our light tank is not going to spot anything where he is. Apart from if a light tank comes all the way down. Or they try and peek this corner. I mean, I suppose if they peek this corner then I can shoot it, but... Lovely. Well, I guess we just sit here and wait. Oh. Are you going to peek? I think he's going to peek. We may have our first contestant. We can actually shoot this panther as well. Hopefully we don't get spotted for that. We shouldn't do. Very good. Don't know if we can get another shot off. Doesn't look like it. Not at the moment. I don't know whether or not this guy is like up or not. Oh, speaking of people that are up. Let's try and track this guy. Don't quite get the tracking shot. But I mean, it's okay at the moment. We're just chilling. We don't need to do much. It's quite a nice... Um, I was going to say change of pace from the normal games, but now I just looked over the other side of the map and uh, <laughs> everyone's dead. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, okay, well, let's just try and get an angle on anyone that is going to be pushing through here. Should have plenty of view range if they come, you know, close. We didn't even scratch them. There we go. Really what I wanted. This is still okay at the moment. Don't have the gun depression to go down even further. Enemy armor is damaged. The is okay. We well, I didn't realise there was a uh, a thing there. There was a rock behind me. Okay. I also don't realise there's a rock there either, apparently. Oh, my engine's turned off. Lovely. Thanks, Wargaming! Love it when the engine just randomly turns off. Penetration. 
Well, rip. We didn't have enough gun depression and we also didn't look where we were going when we were reversing. So, yeah. Rip. <laughs> we didn't even win this side of the map either. We're just still sitting there doing nothing. Well, I mean, that went very, very well. Yes. I mean, we're now on outpost, so... This must be better, right? Surely this will go better. Surely. I've reached my position. I don't even know if... Like, I can shoot anyone that's over there? Still learning this map. Do you want to be tracked? No problem. I give you a free tracking shot. Okay. And apparently there is no one else. Wait. There actually isn't anyone else. Why do I have a holy congregation over here and a light tank over here and a T29 here? Whoa. What? Many confusion. I love the noise of the dead engine. Nothing quite like it. Like cleaning your teeth with sandpaper. No, at least the engine's back now. I was hoping the uh, the IS was gonna like jump or something. <laughs> we should just keep an eye on this bit here because ooh, because of this. <laughs> War gaming. Why? <laughs> that isn't a thing that you can shoot through. Why is this bit... You can see through it. What a well-polished game. Nothing quite like a bit of transparent objects. Beautiful. And you can see, like, right the way through it. I don't know whether, like, that's part of it as well. Like... Either way, we're just going to be patient here. There's no point doing anything. I mean, pfft. what is there that I can do? I have 250 health. I could push forwards. That I could also die, so. I mean, the Hummel is doing a more aggressive job than me. Now we'll push forwards. Now that the, um, the SMV is dead, now we'll push forwards. We're going to go all the way around and see if we can spot this, uh, this Type 58. Um. Oh my! <clears throat> Alright, just ignore that. Max, you're very, very good at aiming. Well done. Can I shoot through this? Wonderful. Well aimed shot. Well done, Max. Can I go up this? No. That'd be pretty cool if I could ramp up that. I'm a little bit worried about this guy. See, another well-aimed shot causing another fire. Oh, you actually have enough alpha damage to shoot me and kill me in one shot as well. I'm going to take the chance. Ah! Okay. Well, very good. I mean, I had a, um, a very wonderful time playing Outpost. I would rate this map a solid 
Um, one million out of ten. Uh, there's plenty of things to do, like do nothing. Very nice. I don't know, I think this map's so boring to play. It's your typical wargaming map design of three corridors and you just sit there doing nothing for the entire game. Especially in a tank where you don't have any armor. But there's nothing you can really do. You just sit at the back of the map and just hope and pray for the best. So what is happening in this chat? Wargaming corrupt. Pros versus noobs. Bot versus normal play. <laughs> Okay, yes. People really do come up with some weird, like, conspiracy theories of why they died. It's like, just get over it, you're dead. So what? It's kind of interesting. People will always come up with, like, with a, an excuse of why they died, whether it be gold ammo, wargaming rigging the matchmaker, or anything like that. When realistically, you just played bad. Like, I peeked a corner and died. So what? I sat in front of a... a whatever it was. The MT-25 for half an hour and lost all my health. But the game isn't rigged. Okay? If you need to come up with an excuse of why you died. Other than they just killed you. And you played bad. Then there's something wrong. Anyway, we had a wonderful time. I mean, apparently these are all pro players as well. I mean, these are really pro players. Like, look at them go. No disrespect to them. I've been there. <laughs> Many times. I just find it funny how people always come up with an excuse. Anyway, that was the good old Outpost game. Into the next one. <laughs> Wonderful. We are now on Live Oaks, another map where I have to sit at the back and do absolutely nothing. I mean, to be fair, it's not that bad. At least on Live Oaks, I can actually move around the map a little bit. Do you not find, like, all the maps... It'd be nice to actually have, like, flanking routes. Do you remember... Do you remember other games? Where you would actually... Where you'd actually have, like, flanking positions or... You know, actual strategy to the maps. Whereas, with these maps, it's just... Oh, look. Go and find your location, and sit in it for the entire game. Well, I'm pretty happy with how the game started, at least. Don't have a shot on the IS. We might have a shot here, though. Like, if he pushes through here, we might have a shot. I'm not 100% sure. I don't even think we'll get... We'll be able to spot him. Oh, unlucky. They really don't like me, do they? It's okay. I wouldn't like myself either. He's enjoying himself. See? You can tell by the number above his tank. He's really enjoying himself. That's the enjoyment number. Mm. If this SP1C dies, which it looks like he will, he did, we should now be able to shoot anyone that is up here. Shalom, friend. He took a big old hit, though, before that. And I don't know where that was from. Like, he took a shot, and then he took the SU shot. So I don't know what else was there. Uh, don't really have a shot for this. That guy's stock. Keep going back. Go on. Ah. Uh, okay, in that case, we're going to go around and trying to assist the people that are in the city. So, onwards we go. At the moment, I'm not 
too worried about this game. This is looking okay. It's not looking amazing, but... I mean, we are down on HP and stuff, so... Yeah, it's never going to look fantastic. Do we get shot through here? Or... I don't think so. We do. I'm not too sure how that's just a critical hit. Knock this down, go back. Forwards, spot this guy, go back. You're shooting a house, Mr. SMV. Just in case you weren't aware. I'm switching to premium now. Don't really need it too much, but it will help out. I wanted to fire there, but I really didn't want to get spotted at the same time. Every single time. Well, this is looking fun. Wonderful. Love R2. Well, there is not really much I can do, unfortunately. Problem that I have at the moment. Okay. I did shoot, but it didn't register. I was going to say, the problem that I have at the moment is that the SU is just going to kill me instantly. Well, we had an amazing team again, which was just fantastic. Well, another game, another loss. So, at the end of those three games, we've averaged 1,400 damage and zero wins. Very good. So now we are at 33% win rate from our 67 that we had on the past three games. And we have 1,500 average damage. What a tremendous game. Yes. Very good session. Hmm. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, then uh, leave a like and subscribe. And also comment for the YouTube algorithm gods. I'll see you all in the next video.